Good morning and welcome to the PUAD. Happy Friday. It is Friday, praise God. We are so excited. We're hoping that you're having an awesome day, whether you are going to be watching live or watching this replay. We are so happy. As you're jumping on, tell us hello and good morning. Um, we have been up super early. I don't know what time you got up, but we've had a great day. Um, me and one of my friends, Lindsay, um, got to go walking, and I've walked almost five miles so far this morning. Mm -hmm. It's been pretty awesome, and the the guys all worked out with Chris. Um, Faith, I think, even worked out with you guys a little. Well, she did her own thing she this morning. Thing. Yeah. Good morning, Derek. Good morning, Heidi. Dana Starnes, good morning. How are you guys? Teresa, good morning. Hello, hello. We're so glad that you guys are jumping on. Alex, good morning. Hello, guys. As you're jumping on, go ahead and share this. Hey, Nathan. Oh, my gosh. How's my friends from Hector? It's been a while. Good morning, Shelly. Donna, good morning from Ohio. How are you guys? As you're jumping on, go ahead and share this. Hey, Dawn. And tag someone, inbox it, share it to all of your platforms because we want to spread this message of hope and truth. Sarah, good morning. Hey, Sarah, I wanted to let you know that we are praying for you guys. Keep me posted. Inbox me on your, your kiddo. Um, there's some medical situations going on that we're praying for. So, Sarah, keep me posted on that. I know you posted it all online, but keep me posted. Hey, Carl, good morning. Tracy, good morning. How are you guys? So... We hope that you're having an incredible Friday so far. Chris is about to get started. And um, again, if you've not went to our website, go to chrisbrooksministries.com. And if you've not partnered with us, do that now. We have our upcoming partner gathering July 23rd and 24th. And we want for you to be a part. It's going to be exclusive to our partners only. So make sure that you get all that information on our website. Hey, Alice, good you morning. Have the dates? It's July 23rd and 24th. Um, and we are going to have the deadline for the RSVP is next week. We are finalizing everything with the caterer. So if you are wanting to be a partner and join with this partner gathering, you're going to need to do it within the next week. Okay. So that's just where we are with this. So, um, and again, all of our partners, there's so many of you that watch this live as well as watch the replay. We cannot thank you enough. This kingdom assignment cannot go forward without you. Mm -hmm. And you joining with us it just makes all the difference. We're able to see lives change. People come to the kingdom because of your faithfulness through prayer and financial support. DDDs, hey, how are you? Hey, Mia Wallace, how are you? Good morning. Hey, Amen. Everybody's jumping on. So that means that we're in need of a word this morning. Yes. So if you're ready for the P Wad, go ahead and tell me over here. So I'm ready for the P Wad. Uh, go to Hebrews chapter 10, verse 31, being the New Living Translation this morning. Um, one scripture, and we're going to get right into it. Goodness, sorry. Um, excuse me. <laughs> My goodness, Bless you. excuse me. Okay, Hebrews 10, 31, New Living Translation says, Think back on those early days when you first learned about Christ. Today. What is going on with you personally? We talked earlier this week about issues and problems or areas that need work. It's not that big of an issue. It's not that big of a problem. It's just an area of work where we quit working and we need to start working. But when you get into a place where you feel like you're in a spiral, things are out of control, this is where it has to be all faith Nothing but faith. Because there is nothing you can do in the natural to bring change. Mm -hmm. Talking about areas in your life where I cannot do anything in the natural will help the situation, will stop it, will give mm -hmm. uh, relief or anything like that. Only supernatural faith faith is going to be the deciding factor on the outcome of whatever it is you're dealing with today. So today, the Lord says, think back when you first gave your heart to God. Think back to the beginning of salvation. 
when nothing else mattered. Stuff happened. Things came up. And you just walked in simple faith. Mm -hmm. You just believed. How did it get so complicated from then to now where then it didn't matter what it was. Amen. We made it through. We knew God was going to take care of it. Yes. And we rolled through the punches. But now letting daily frustrations rule and reign our lives. How did we get here? How did we get to this place of being jaded? That's good. Of, well, this prayer hasn't been answered, so obviously the next prayer won't be answered. I've seen failure after failure in the church. Mm -hmm. I've seen people come, people go, fight, split, um, all this mess, compromise, pain, anguish. Well, let's stop and think about something. Those same things were happening when you first got saved. They were. Same junk, the same stuff was going on when you got saved. The only difference was is when you got saved and when you started believing in God, that stuff that was bothering you day after day, you handled it very differently. And the way you handled it was you just trusted in blind faith. That's so good. God, if you're gonna, I know you're gonna take care of this. Mm -hmm. I know that even though I have surrendered my heart to the Lord and, and, and my, I've lost friends and people don't want to be around me mm -hmm. no more because I'm not the fun guy, because I'm not drunk <laughs> or I'm not running to the club or partying or whatever it may be. All of a sudden, here we are today looking at the same things, but handling it, woo, handling it, in a different manner than what we would have handled it in the beginning. Mm -hmm. The writer of Hebrews says, think back on the early days. I love that. So whatever it is you're dealing with today or will deal with tomorrow, stop and say, okay, am I handling this better than when I did in the beginning stages? Or have I gotten gotten have I become more spiritually um, wise in trying to manifest something in my own nature mm -hmm. and when I don't see it happen I'm so spiritual now that I claim that well maybe it wasn't God maybe it was it or what can we do to go back that's so good. To those days when we just said, Lord, it's you, and I trust you. Mm. It's you. PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, is something that happens in the military, and you can happen in, you know, people's lives when something is very intense takes place. <sighs> well, I think that people can get PTSD in the body based upon past experiences and then you just use that as a crutch on why you can't move forward today. Okay, that's really good. That's you see awesome. that issue, mm -hmm. you see that yeah. whatever and then because what we do is we go back to it mm -hmm. and then we blame it and then we use it as our crutch but we never would have done that before when we first got saved. So where is today? If today is, think on the early days of when you first learned about God. Think on the what you did, how you walked by faith and yes. not by sight. How you were overjoyed with everything. How nothing got on your nerves. Mm -hmm. Nothing got on your nerves because you, you dropped all of that baggage. Yeah. And I just heard the Lord say, have you picked up baggage and started carrying it again that you let go of years ago? 
which is why little things frustrate you, which is why you can't get through the day and you continue to struggle thinking on past. This is crazy. Think back on the early days. How would you have handled this as the young you? Now people would say, well, back then I was stupid and I've matured more. Okay, that's our cinema. You might have matured, but there was something about that infancy faith. Yeah. The Bible even tells yeah. us childlike faith. There's something about it. We never grow out of it. Chil children, little kids will look you right in the face that love God and say, well, God can do this. Amen. God can do this. God, God, this is easy for God. But then we get mature and we're like, well, we think, well, I don't know. Yeah, God can do it, but he didn't do it last time. Yeah. See, we start, we start putting these stupid thoughts in our head. Yeah. And today, excuse me, my sinuses, today we're sitting here saying, Handle it like a child mm -hmm. in faith with the maturity of a seasoned Christian. Yes. And go back to the way you used to do things. Yes. Derek, what you said, do you have a word for me, please? Derek, the word of the Lord is today. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your spirit, and love your neighbor as yourself. I hear the Lord say that you'll love him like you've never loved him before. Open up your relationship with him. He'll pour out relationship to you and blessing to you that you would not even imagine. Go back to your childlike faith. Let God be God. Amen. Amen. What you got? You know, there's... There's definitely someone that's watching today that you have felt stuck, that you felt like, and, and yesterday's word was about letting the seed do its job. If you missed yesterday's word, you got to go back and watch it. It was more than about money. Sometimes people hear the word well, we seed said. and they, they get it all confused. So if you didn't watch it yesterday, I want to let you know that that, that was bigger than yesterday. The, than, you just need to watch well, it. I showed There's the so seed many. forms. You yes. Know, not just, it was spiritual, it was money. And yes, it was, it was the whole thing. You know, food. But with that, there's somebody that is watching and you literally just, you remember what he did before, but maybe you're questioning if he'll do it again. Mm -hmm. If he did it before, he'll do it again. God is the same yesterday, today, and He doesn't forever. do anything less. No. He said everything he does. He said, I want to give it more abundantly to you. Above and beyond what if you I want to give you more life. I want to yes. give you more blessing. I want to give you more seed. I want to give you more finances. I want to give you more fruit. Yes. We just got to go back and believe the way we used to believe. Faith. That's it. I hear the Lord say, God, go so back God. and believe the way you used to believe. Quit t tell the new you that it ain't you. How do you say that? Okay, don't even go there. Tell this wise, know-it-all, <laughs> religious believer, go back to a childlike faith. Amen. Go back to your childlike faith. And in doing so, believe God in the simple all the way to the hard. Yes. And watch what the Lord does. What are you believing for right now that you're like, God, I just, I'm struggling. Maybe some of you are struggling in the word from yesterday. I'm struggling in believing. I'm struggling, God. I need a now miracle. I need you. I, just, I know you're there, God. I just need you today. I need you like I've never needed you before, and I need you to show up and, and just, not that you got to prove yourself to me, because you yes. have. You proved it on the cross. I just need you today. If that's you, let's call for it. If that's you today, <sighs> let us know. We want to pray Spirit, for you. Holy Spirit, we need you. Just type in the comments, that's me. We need you, Holy Ghost. Today, I just, I just need you. Yes. What do you need? It's, I don't even know what I need. 
You ever been there? I don't even know what I need. I just need you. Amen. Gwen, Gwen said, spirit of heaviness gone. There you go. Amen. Holy Ghost, come in and bring that featherweight. Yes. And the heaviness be gone right now in the name of Jesus. We yes. call forth the power of Holy Spirit. Yes. Now here's what you've got to do. You gotta tell your Amen, mind. Derek. Tell your mind. I'm not thinking the way I thought before. Hebrews, think back. Mm -hmm. All right, how would I have handled it? I would have just, here's how I would have handled it. God's got this. Not, I think he can do it, but I'm not really sure. Or, oh, I know God's got it, but in the back of your mind, you're like, well, I'm not going to. I'm not going to keep my hopes up for it if it doesn't happen. Think back on the early days. Yes. He has this. Yes. He's got it all. Amen. Amen? Amen. Um, <sighs> someone had asked a question just a minute ago. They said they need direction with priorities and where to redeem their time. Um, well, we just claim right now that the Holy Spirit give you direction and wisdom beyond your abilities, beyond your years, beyond your experiences well, I'm gonna tell to you, lead he, you. The question of redeeming your time is this. You just need to go to prayer. Yeah. You redeem your time in prayer. That's, that's the only place. Redemption of time happens in a place of prayer because in a place of prayer, God can expediate all the lost time. Well, and that, that area of regret where the enemy wants to, to have you in a place of shame or regret, we just curse that by the blood of Jesus and, and say that you have victory over that today. Amen. We are so glad that so many of you have jumped on and that this message has touched you personally, and we know that it's going to touch people in the replay. So make sure that you share this and inbox this to someone, because this is a now word. Amen. This is a now word. This is a prophetic word. That's mm -hmm. why this is called the prophetic word of the day. This is now. And that's, that's what I love about what God has called us to do. Mm -hmm. It's a challenge some days. Yep. <laughs> it's a challenge. Whatever it is you're struggling with right here, right now, think back on how you would have handled it in the first days. In the first days of you giving your heart to Jesus. Now, whatever you did then, do it now. Amen? Amen. All right. We already told you how to get involved with the ministry. Just go to chrisbrooksministries.com. Check it out. We love you. Mm -hmm. We will be seeing you Monday at uh, 9.30 Eastern, 8.30 Central. May the Lord bless you and keep you and his face shine upon you. For you are the head, not the tail, yes. above and not beneath. You're blessed in the city and in the field. May this word penetrate to the very marrow of your bones and shift the DNA of who you are yes. so that we look more like Jesus and less like us. Amen? Amen. We love you. Remember, we will see you Monday. Done challenge you. It won't change you. Be blessed. Bye.